Hey guys, Nice Man here. So it's been a few days since I posted a video, as some of you might have noticed. My computer was all messed up. And fortunately, Ishmael was willing to help me out a little bit over Facebook messaging. So thanks for that, dog. But nonetheless, yeah, I had to restore Windows and download all this shit all over again. And it kind of reminds me that I don't have my patron PMG image that I put up on this OBS. Oh, shit. Missing something else as well. There we go. So, I have that, but I don't have the patronage PMG thing, all right? So, I'll have that on the next video. Yeah. Thank you to my patrons, by the way. A couple more new ones as of late. So, yeah. Link in the description below if you want to support the Iceman. Another thing. Haven't been drinking coffee, so... Kind of tired, dog. It ain't as easy working out, hitting the weights and all that. So, I don't know. I might try to have coffee just before workouts, but I'm not sure which way I'm going to go with that just yet. But yeah, I haven't had coffee in like five days. So, it's been it's been a different thing. Ooh, a little sand rune. Oh, shit. I don't have a loot filter. Damn. Okay, so I have to download that loot filter again. Shit. That's going to be a pain in the ass. And I had the nice little sounds when a rune would fall. And I don't know where the fuck I got that. It made like the Zelda game sounds when your runes fall. Son of a bitch, so I don't have that either. Yeah, it's a real pain in the ass. So, no loot filter, nothing. But, apparently there's going to be a... PodCon, a Path of Diablo con, or live stream that Green Dude, who's the guy behind this mod, is going to broadcast on January 11. All right, I believe it's at 10 p.m. London time. All right, man. So, yeah, um, he hasn't made any announcement of ladder reset, but what he did say on Reddit, I saw some post. He said something along the lines of, this is a big Path of Diablo announcement. It's the largest one yet that he's done. So I'm kind of anticipating some changes, you know what I mean? Uh, some maybe changes to skills or whatever. Maybe some added things. Maybe a tier five. Who knows? Uh, at one point they added sigils, grand charms that modified your character's skill. Like each character had one or two or three sigils that would modify a skill and they'd have like a random roll on them. And that really changed things up. Like one of them said something along the lines of with Necromancer, you shoot three bone spears now instead of just one. So yeah, it was game changing, you know what I'm saying? And there were bone spear Necromancers profiting off of that. That was told, but they did away with that. And that's okay. They implemented some of those effects into skills and items even. But nonetheless, that was a pretty big change. So what he's saying is, it seems like this is the largest announcement yet. All right? So I'm really looking forward to seeing what uh, he has to offer to the community. Because, uh, yeah, they've done a great job so far, man. This is the totest way to play Diablo 2. So if you're not playing Path of Diablo, you should really check it out, dog. All right, you get the big inventory, you get the character classes and skills more balanced, so a hell of a lot more builds are viable now, unlike on botnet. And you have end game content, huge areas with level 85 plus enemies, uh, something that was really needed for Diablo 2. I always thought, man, how, how toad it would be if there were added content like that. And uh, yeah, they did a good job with Path of Diablo because there is that added content now. So you don't just have to kill Diablo, kill Bell, and make a new game, do the same damn thing over again. You can make a huge map with a ton of enemies that are high level that you can just farm those maps for hours in one game. It's told. And yeah, a few other things have been implemented as well into Path of Diablo. A lot of balancing things, especially. But yeah, let me know what you guys uh, are anticipating for this big PodCon thing. And I even have... Let me show you this. Here's the page where it has some information on it. So here's the Reddit post he made. Uh, this was just a day ago, now this one. Uh, I think Baza 
Yeah, Buzz uh, let me know about this on Facebook. He said something like, hey, Iceman, have you heard? Uh, Green Dude made some Path of Diablo announcement thing, and it's uh, there's some event coming up. So, yeah, I checked out this Reddit page, and here's a more recent post on it. You see right here. And he, in the post, he links to this, pathofdiablo.com slash podcon. All right, so you can go here, and there's a little countdown right here. So this is 20 days away in an hour and 42 minutes from right now. So, yeah, come on this page, bro, and we can hear what he has to say. And he also, you know, links his Twitch and stuff. Um, shit, is he going to live stream it here? I think he's streaming it on Twitch, but I don't know. Yeah, watch the event live at Twitch. There it is. There's the link right there. And he's also going to post it on his YouTube channel. All right, so there's his YouTube channel right there. So, yeah, I'm really curious to see what this PodCon thing is going to be all about. And let me know if you guys have any more information on this. Or let me know in the comments below. And let me know what you guys want to see in terms of changes. Um, something I did bitch about on Reddit not too long back was uh, the Assassin's Death Century. I just pointed out how you know, I'll be kind of towed to maybe for just for one ladder to revert it back to how it was on Botnet, which yeah, a lot of people argue was overpowered, and maybe it is. But it uh, utilized 80% of the corpse life as corpse explosion. And now, in Path of Diablo, it's nerfed where it's like uh, 20 to 29% of the corpse life or something like that. You know, so it's it does uh, a little less than half the damage. So, yeah, I, was, I thought it'd be fun to have like a godly freaking death century assassin. But yeah, like I said, folks say that it's going to be too OP. So I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. Really, you know, I'm still going to be playing Path of Diablo, um, even if that shit stays the same. You know, I've been on here uh, for a year and a half now, and I have no reason to get off, man. Um, Botnet, I haven't been back since I started playing Path of Diablo. So this is a Toad mod, and yeah, I'm looking forward to what, uh, what this podcast is going to be all about. But again, let me know in the comments what sort of changes would you guys like to see in Path of Diablo. Uh, what sort of maybe added content would you like to see? Comment that below, and follow Green Dude, you know, on his uh, on his YouTube channel and his Twitch, and he also has a Patreon page. So, yeah, the more the more monies he gets, the better. Obviously, you know, it's going to give him more incentive to uh, to put time in because I know it's a lot of work to uh, to keep up with this shit and to do the ladder resets. And to add the content and a lot of thought, a lot of math and shit to get the balances down right like he has so far. So, yeah, he's been doing a damn good job. Oh, damn, that's told. Look at that. Seven faster run walk. Damn, mine has max damage right here, though. I like those mana ones, so I could give this to, uh, like, a sorceress or something, even though she barely run, but what ifs. Uh, maybe another character type. But yeah, like this video if you guys will. More videos to come. Uh, peace be with you.